Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about TCS SSIS interview questions. These are the list of questions which is asked by the interviewer to my one of my friend in the recent days. These questions may vary person to person and time to time and location to location. It purely based on the requirement. But here, based on the discussion with my friend, I have prepared the list of questions. Let me go to the questions. The first question is rate yourself in the SSIS on the scale of 10. 1 is the least, 10 is the best. Based on your confidence level in the SSIS technology, in the SSIS tool, you need to answer it. If you answer around 7 or 8, it means that you are above average. If you answer below 5, it is below average. Better to go with a above average. If you are too much confidence on the SSIS tool, then go for 9. Next, what is your role in the SSIS project? Here you need to explain your role, what exactly you are doing. You will be creating the packages, you will be designing the packages or you will be uh, working as a technical lead or junior developer or senior developer and you need to explain very thoroughly here. Next. What is the incremental load? It is a, one of the important question and it's a very basic role in the SSIS. You need to answer that incremental load. Next, Immediately you will be asked what are the differences between the full load and the incremental load? So what is the full load and what is the incremental load? This is also a very basic funda in the SSIS. You need to know that. Next. Do you use SCD1 or SCD2? If you say SCD1 and why SCD1? If you go for SCD2, why SCD2? So why are you using this uh, SCD1 and SCD2? Do you have any other ways to load the uh, data in the SSIS? Have you used SCD in your project? SCD is nothing but a slowly changing dimension transformation in your project. If yes, explain. If no, explain. So most of the scenarios, we don't use a slowly changing slowly changing transformations, changing transformation in our projects. We'll use the logic, but we don't use the transformation in our projects. Next. What is a logging? And have you implemented logging in your project? Yes, logging is very important. If you say no, it it, it uh, you will be losing your impression. So, but compulsory logging is very important in the project. So, logging is really important and it is the one which will help us to trace the package execution flow. So, whenever it fails, you will be easily identified with the help of the logging. Have you implemented logging in your project? Yes. What is the environment variables? So while when you are using a project level parameters, so that time you might be needing the environment variables to configure those values in the once the project is deployed in the environments. So how do you secure your packages in the SSIS? So there are many ways of using the uh, to say there are many ways to secure your packages in the SSIS. The one is you can secure once you deploy in the initial catalog or like a um, or if you are locally your SSDT, you can give a, uh, you can protect your uh, package by using security username or password. What is a text qualifier? So there are some places where while reading a data from source file, so they will be giving some text qualifiers like a double quotes or some special symbols. So that time you might be used needing that text qualifier. What is a staging in the SSIS? Yes. Yeah. In all ETL tools or in all the SSIS projects, staging is going to play a major role. So we will be loading that data into staging area. Then we will be applying some business rules or transformations to get the required format. The staging, you need to have an idea what is staging, why we need a staging. Next. How do you call one package from another package in SSIS? Yes, there are many ways again for this. By default is execute package task. With the help of the execute package task, you can call one package from the another package. Next. So, have you used a script task in SSIS? Yes. We used to go with a script task. Next. How to pass variable value from one package to another package? 
again there are ways but by using script task i can pass one va variable value from one package to another package like a kind of parent and uh, child package master and child packages so these are the list of questions which is asked by the interviewer to one of my friend as i told you these questions may vary person to person so but try to follow all these questions if you have any questions please comment in the comment section not only questions if you have any other scenarios which you are feeling complex please mention those i'll try to answer and i'll try to help you that's it thank you for watching please keep watching our videos and subscribe